Well, after being cooped up last week, you might be feeling the itch to get outside and explore nature, sand, snow everywhere. Oh, you don't, you don't want to go back to the hotel with the, the three of us and in like the little bitty room for five straight nights? And... You know, it was good to hang out with you guys, <laughs> uh, but I'm going to say no, sorry. Ashley King found you a perfect spot even during winter. Yeah, this week she takes Discover Arkansas to Hollabin. This song from I Gwen think Stefani. that's Hollaback Boy, oh. not Hollabin Boy. Uh, uh, it's or a Hollaback Girl. Sorry. Yeah, that's all right. Same thing. <laughs> You're it's a Hollaback Boy. <laughs> I don't know what that means, <laughs> but I'm that. afraid. I know. Uh, <laughs> it's a peaceful piece of land along the Arkansas River near Russellville, with a plenty of wildlife to discover. Well, we've made it to the Hollabin National Wildlife Refuge, right outside of Darden now, and we're gonna holla at Carla. Go ahead and mark where the eagles nest are because Steve is going to want to know that. Have you noticed Steve takes us to places where there might be eagles? I'm so excited. I got my Holoban Wildlife Refuge hat and we're going to see some eagles today. The refuge was established back in 1957 and we primarily manage the refuge for a feeding and resting area for migratory waterfowl. We're going to pay our entrance fee and so First thing is first. It's all a part of the honor system. You'll see this when you first arrive here. Carla let us borrow this really cool scope so that we can check out some of the eagles nest. Most people come to visit, uh, especially in the winter time. We get a lot of uh, ducks and geese that, and some eagles that migrate uh, mostly down the Mississippi flyway. Uh, okay, so I see the nest in a little white, looks like their little white head you can see peeking out. It's a big nest, isn't it? You can only imagine how big it looked from here and how far away right now. Half a mile. So that nest is massive. We get a lot of, a lot of folks coming to bird watch. We're right next to the Arkansas River, so we are flat bottomland. This road right here begins our wildlife drive, winds all the way around through the refuge uh, and comes right back out here. So Ashley, right across here, right over there was the eagle's nest and uh, apparently the flood took it out. So I can't find this one yet. You know where it is? Uh, yes, I see it right now. Since you got your new shoes on, we can walk <laughs> on the levee. Let's be adventurous. Steve's trying to take me off the beaten path to get closer to another eagle's nest. This is how scary movies start, okay? Do you think there's alligators? Oh no, they hibernate. She would have told us, I think. Okay, Steve, you saw a bobcat out here one time, right? Yeah, I did. It was in a tree and I got a great shot of it. Which one did we find? The one on the left or right? Carla said there's a nest down here, but once we got down here, we found a second nest. Two nests. Do you think that she knew about this? When she, she did not. She said there's one nest here and then you have to be on a boat down that way. We made a discovery for Carla. Some of the public uses that people can enjoy are fishing. We have three boat ramps where they can launch boats. We do have a couple of places where they can bank fish. Aside from all the bird watching and photography, we have archery deer hunt, archery turkey hunting, and we also have some youth activities. Well, this scope came in really handy today. So bring your binoculars and come and discover 7,000 acres and go discover Arkansas.